let's talk about judging criteria because judging criteria, this is what the judges are looking for in these vehicles. Now there's three criteria overall, and this is really important. I'm gonna lean on our Hot Wheels designers to really kind of flesh out on what you guys as a collective judging panel are looking for. Now the three criteria, authenticity, creativity, and garage spirit. Authenticity is basically, you see that vehicle and that screams Hot Wheels. Kevin, what does authenticity mean to you? I mean, as a Hot Wheels brand, I think Hot Wheels represent often quality, performance, um, creativity, and a little attitude. So when we're looking at these cars, that's kind of the aspects we were looking at for those things. All right, now Ryu, creativity. I mean, there's been over 25,000 unique Hot Wheels being made, been made over 50 years. So creativity, mm -hmm. in your mind, you work in the Hot Wheels studio, what needs to stand out amongst these finalists? So the creativity is, is like something that was like never seen or done before. So, and as a designers, we're always looking forward to uh, creativity, creativities. And uh, yeah, that's a really important part of the, uh, the design uh, the process. Okay, now I'm gonna ask this, I think is the youngest gentleman on here, but has some of the most ball in cars. TJ, garage spirit. What does garage spirit mean to you? Because for, to, for me, it's also, it's like built, not bought. Yeah, I think garage spirit really just means at the end of the day, uh, getting over the obstacles that you're trying to go around to, you know, achieve a certain look you're going for. And especially like myself, I've only been in the car industry for maybe like seven or eight years now, and I've learned a lot along the way. But there have been a lot of things I've wanted to do, but I've been too scared to do. So for me, it's been having the, uh, the courage to go about figuring out how to learn it and keeping the spirit alive to get the look you're going for or said mod. Nice. I love it. There you go. So authenticity, creativity, garage spirit. Ah, oh, this is a vehicle after my own heart. I'm the voice of drift. I've seen the evolution of S13s and all S chassis overall. Now this S13 right here is an S13.5 because it has the S15 front end swap, has two Rocket Bunny kits combined, plus the 180SX Aero. So pretty straightforward, you think, but no, you dive deeper into the build and it has some custom mishmash of parts. Has a 2JZ GTE swap with a precision 6267 turbo, 500 horsepower at 12 pounds of boost. So Mickey, you're talking about the engine. Look at you're, you're, this has piqued your interest, homeboy. Hold on, let me rattle off these. Let me rattle off these stats. Battle Arrow V4 cha chassis mount wing, D2 airbags. So it's got the speed, it's got the power, but it is on air. Vera Air Management TE37, one of the most iconic JDM wheels. Toyo R Triple A RSs and a six-point roll cage. You can see him talking about his vehicle. Mickey, does this pique your interest, this 2J under the hood of an S13? Of course, it's got drift tax, so it just went up as we talk about it. <laughs> yeah, of course, man. This thing is fun to look at, and I do love S15s. It's one of my favorite import chassis, so him putting the face of an S15 on an S13, it's not uncommon, but it looks phenomenal on this particular car, uh, and the fact that he went to a one JZ engine, I mean, you're taking, basically taking a Toyota engine, putting it in a Nissan, I mean, that takes a certain level of um, capability. And I think this car hits all the marks when it comes to the judging criteria. I'm excited about this one, guys. Yeah, I mean, we are focusing on that engine. The anodized purple is just popping next to, I, I believe it's like a, kind of a matte gray or a flat gray with that gloss over the top of it. Colette, the purple speaks to you. I know it does. <laughs> now, aesthetically, this is way my style. I love the Rocket Bunny kit. He got two different kits to make the whole vision come together and just the tubbed engine bay. It's so clean. I know he blacked out a lot of the pieces in the engine bay to have, and has those pops of purple. So this checks a lot of boxes for me. And of course, I love a chassis mount wing and it's great. Yeah, it looks, again, the function, the fashion, a little bit loud, that thing is high up there. And it's convenient, because when you go to uh, you know, a fast food restaurant, you can just set your food right there and it's a table. It right? also doubles as that, yeah. If you want to hang out, eat some food, you know, you're at the car <laughs> show, it works. But um, I don't know, I figured TJ would be a fan of this since it's on bags, you know? Yeah, I was gonna literally chime in here and say, this literally screams me, the car, <laughs> one hot bags, wide body, Jay-Z swap, this one hits home, huge, executed, uh, perfectly he even has the, the the wheel tubs in there and I'm also uh, peeking in on chat too on YouTube and chat is loving this car so uh, big points big points over here I'm trying to contain myself wow yeah <laughs> TJ going hard right now on this s13.5 but all right TJ's like bye I'll see you later I'm out that's the car uh, so, 
Um, let's move on to our next card. All right, moving on to our Throttle Boys. Remember, you have your own pick, but right now it's for the Legends Tour. So right now, Legends Tour, you'll have your own bragging rights vote where you put your, your minds together, father and son. You guys aren't really father and son, just to clarify for anybody watching. It was like, wait, they're really dad and child? That's amazing, they built cars together? I had no idea, they are not. But right now, let's start off with Mickey, and we'll end with TJ. Mickey, Mickey, what say you? Your top three, starting with third. All right, well, for me, for my number three, I have the 1993 Nissan 240SX. Um, it was the first of the F13.5s that we saw with the 1J uh, and all the custom bits. I really like that. Um, I think it was very nicely put together. Uh, for number two, I picked the Mogwai. And the reason I picked that was because the story behind it, I loved all the custom details uh, and how they took a gremlin and basically made it into a stretch hot rod. That thing really embodies Hot Wheels spirit to me. And I chose the 1974 Corvette Glasser as my number one choice. These are very odd picks for me, by the way, because uh, I am an import guy. But um, I thought this car was really cool. I love the continuity of all the details. I love that glass rear section that he made. And... Um, yeah, I mean, I just think this thing is a Hot Wheels car to a T. Yeah, I would not pick you as picking that car, to be quite honest. I mean, I've known you for multiple years. Super left field from uh, the Throttle Boys, or just one of them, Mickey. Well, I mean, let's be real here. Uh, this isn't, you know, this isn't something that, you know, I would probably drive. It's not me, but I can respect the father-son effort that got put into this. It checked off all the boxes. Um, Again, I'm not a gasser fan either, but I think the detail work here and everything that's been done to this car uh, and the story behind it is the key. I love it. All right. Speaking of father son, here it is. TJ Hunt, you are the final one here. You are Neo. Who is your top three, starting with third, my friend? All right. Well, I'm going to have to stay true to my uh, JDM roots here and I'm going to have to copy Mickey. On number three, I'm going to do the uh, 1993, the first S15 that we saw. Really like that one a lot. It's just it's it's so clean. It's so perfect. It's hard not to appreciate that and drool over it. But I tried to kind of go outside of my comfort zone here, which is why I got number three. So going on to number two, I'm actually going to be moving on to. I want to make sure I have it correctly here. It is the exotic truck. It's the the exo car. That was just really cool. The fact that we have a 500 horsepower all-wheel drive platform. I, that just blew my like to me i see that i'm like i want to drive that that is just so cool i've never seen anything like that in person and based off of that chassis so definitely earns points in my book but going on to number one i kind of feel like a bandwagon here but the scorpion that thing is so rad that to me this is like blade runner it looks so cool it kind of reminds me of the t-rex like the kind of mid 2000s vibe um, and I really love the like jet turbine exhaust with like the, the fluctuating thing when you're gassing it opens up. Super cool. I just want to see that thing in person and drive it. So that's got to take number one for me. All over the board, guys and gal. I mean, you guys, you guys are absolutely, I'm, I'm kind of baffled. I thought, you know, you guys were going to go one direction, but a diversity of vehicles. Now, the fans watching live chat, which one do you think? should win this round, win this stop of the Hot Wheels Legend Tour. We want to see it, so live chat away, let's get it going. Let's